I sort of feel like one of my jobs here as a faculty member in environmental studies is to create a context in which uh, students really have a lot of opportunities to explore their interests, uh, develop them further. So, um, you know, as you say, we've developed a very sophisticated uh, system for monitoring and displaying the environmental performance of this building and now we've moved to monitoring energy use across the whole campus and students have been absolutely central to this uh, to this process. I've had um, several student honors theses out of this work and um, I involved students in my introductory course in this and, and they've uh, co-authored papers with me that have been published in the peer-reviewed literature on, the, on their work with me on this. So. Yeah, yeah, that was the Environmental Protection Agency's P3 award. It's People, Prosperity, and, and the Planet. And Oberlin was the only uh, undergraduate institution to win phase two funding for that, and the only uh, institution without an engineering program to win phase two funding. So we really, our project stood out. But that project focused on monitoring energy consumption in dormitories on campus, and then providing students with uh, real-time feedback on their resource use. The concept is if we provide students with, um, with environmentally contextualized information on how much energy they're consuming, uh, that they'll actually use that information to change their behavior. And what we found in a preliminary study was that um, students could substantially reduce their energy use in the two dorms that won this energy competition we ran. Uh, they reduced their energy use by 56% uh, over a two week uh, period. So really kind of an unheard of reduction in, uh, in energy use in those dorms. And those were the dorms that had the real time feedback system that I'm describing. And this wasn't that they were studying well, actually, that's one of the interesting things about it, and that sort of is sort of the, the sort of brings up the kind of idiosyncratic uh, aspects of Oberlin. Uh, so um, they reduced their energy use by an enormous amount. Some of that had to do with you know kind of sustainable conservation behavior, things like turning their lights off, turning their computers off, just being real careful about energy use. But um, you know, one thing you can expect from Oberlin students is that they, you know, they'll take things to the limit as far as what they do. And so you had students unplugging the vending machines and, and uh, disabling hallway lights and things like that, which probably accounted for some of that. But uh, I guess probably the most interesting thing was part of what we were doing in our study was we had a, uh, a display in the lobby. Uh, we also displayed data on a, on, a, on a website. So a lot of students were looking at the information on their resource consumption on the web. But in these two dorms that won, we had displays in the lobby uh, that you know, showed them all the time. When you walked in the building, you saw how much electricity your dorm was consuming relative to the other dormitories on campus. And uh, in uh, one of the dormitories, Fairchild, they kept on unplugging our monitor <laughs> system, which is a really a deep irony, of course, because it was consuming energy. And so we had a little battle with them over email and said, we're gonna disqualify you from the study if you keep unplugging our, our display system for you, but yeah, yeah.